probably has not understood Mr. Matt's uh, graphical explanation. Uh, let me remove it. This is not the Mr. Matt's. Uh, I'll remove this graphical explanation of how sine of minus x is equal to minus sine x and cos of minus x is cos x. He's wondering if he could use the compound angle formula to prove it in a different way. Okay, so let me, it's always good to draw a the unit circle. So let me draw a unit circle. Okay, so let me go over this again as I have gone in my previous video. See, trigonometry or maths generally is about learning facts or uh, learning things in your own way from basic information that you have. So this is a unit circle of radius 1. So this is center 0, 0. Okay, and this is say, so this coordinate would be 1, 0. This would be negative 1, 0. This coordinate would be 0, 1. And this is 0, negative 1. As we saw in my previous video, uh, when you're talking about sine and cos, so let me draw an arbitrary point, so arbitrary point P, comma, X, comma, Y. And so here the radius, say uh, this is, and let's draw a right angle triangle, so M. So this is 1, and this is, say, uh, X and this is Y. And we saw in the last video, X and Y is same as writing cos of X, sine of X. Sine of X. So from this unit circle, you can say many things. You can say uh, cos, let me use not X, X can be confusing, can be used theta. Okay, so let's use theta. Theta is the angle because we have already used X. So this is theta. So the angle that the particle has moved is theta. So when the angle has, when the particle has moved theta degrees clockwise, uh, you can say the x coordinate is cos theta and y coordinate is sine theta. So here I can say by just looking at suppose this point, this is something that we're going to use. This, the x coordinate is negative 1 and this particle has moved so this is 90 degrees, so this is 0 degree. So let's say this is 0 degree. The particle is at 0 degree. When it comes here, it is 90 degrees. When it comes here, it's 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. So we're going to use compound angle formula, and also we'll come back and prove it in a different way. Okay. So think about this. If the particle moves anticlockwise like this, it moves like this. My drawing is horrible. So let me do it better. So now I think you can see if this particle has moved anticlockwise, this angle is called say minus theta. So this coordinate, the coordinate of this point is say, let me say this is this is Q. This would be uh, the x coordinate would remain the same. Okay, so this is y, and I hope you understand this is going to be minus y. I'm uh, giving you some information which can be used to prove this result. Okay, so I want you to do that yourself if you can. Uh, so this coordinate, if this is minus theta, the x coordinate would be same x, and the y coordinate would be negative y. Okay, so you can use this information to prove this, but let's uh, answer Billy's call by using compound angle formula. So yesterday I also told you that sine theta sine theta is equal to sine 180 minus theta. So this is a very good result to remember. And I explained how sine theta is how, uh, how sine theta is uh, where did I put uh, this is the y x axis Okay, so this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, okay. And yesterday we also saw cos of theta is equal to cos, 36, cos 360 minus theta. Think about this, you can prove this yourself again if you want. This is 
or you can also use compound angle formula to prove this. Okay, so try to prove this yourself using a compound angle formula. Okay, so but this is not what we want. So we're going to use this fact, this information to prove this. So let me use a different color. So can I say, let me scroll up slightly. Okay, so can I say sine of minus x, sine of minus x is equal to sine using this formula sine 180 sine 180 take away negative x okay which is equal to sine 180 sine 180 plus x so let me write the compound angle formula in your formula sheet it is given like this sine sine a plus b sine a plus b you can pause this video and write the answer by from your memory which is sine a sine a cos b i would like you to stop pause the mem uh, video and try to finish this at this stage okay sine a cos b plus cos a sine b cos a sine b so now you can pause the video and try to prove, use this result or apply this formula here. So let me use the green color. So that is equal to sine 180, sine 180 cos x plus cos 180, cos 180 sine x. So now you look at the unit circle and tell me what is sine 180. So sine is looking at the y coordinate. So sine 180 is 0 times cos x. So whenever you have a trig exam, it's a good idea to draw a unit circle. You can get many information from this. Plus cos 180. Plus cos 180 is the x coordinate is negative 1 times sine of x. And 0 times anything is going to be 0. And plus take away 1 times sine of x is minus sine of x. Okay, you can pause this video and try to prove the this result yourself. I'll come back. In, hopefully you have uh, done, done the second part. So... Uh, though, so let me go over myself. So let me write the compound angle formula for cos. So cos A plus B, cos A plus B is cos A, is cos A, cos B minus sine A sine B. Okay, so I'm going to use that formula to prove this. So, and this and this. So, let me again use a different color. So, let me use red. So, can I say cos of minus x using this formula is same as cos of 360 take away negative x, which is 360 cos of 360 plus x. So using that, what can we say? <clears throat> so cos 360 plus x using this formula is cos 360 <clears throat> cos x minus sine 60 sine x. Okay, so what is cos 360? So cos 360, so let me write this 0 degrees is same as 360 degrees. So what is cos 360 degrees? That's the x coordinate. So x coordinate when 360 is 1. So 1 times cos x minus cos 360 is the y coordinate. So 0 times sine of x, which is equal to cos of x. Here we go. So we have proved using compound angle formula and also this formula that sine of x Okay, again, I want you to pause this video and try to prove these two results using unit circle. Okay, so I'll come back uh, to prove that in a different way. You can use, look at this triangle. 
sorry, this figure and prove these two results without using compound angle formula. Hopefully you could have proved it. So let me prove this. So instead of saying x, I'm going to say, wait, let's prove first cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. Okay, so I want you to stop again and think whether you can prove it now. So what is this saying? So what is cos theta? In this figure, what is cos of minus theta? Cos of minus theta is x, because it's the x coordinate. And what is cos of theta? Cos of theta is also x. Cos of theta is also, also x. So what can you say? Cos of minus theta minus theta is equal to cos theta. So this is one same result proved in different ways. And this is what you need to know as top calculus students. So let's start, think about the next result. So what is sine of minus theta? Sine of minus theta is sine of minus theta. You're looking at the y coordinate here, which is negative y. And what is sine of theta? Sine of theta is y. So now if sine of theta is y, I can replace this y by sine of theta. Sine theta is y means y is sine theta. So putting this back, so this I can say this is minus sine of theta. So this is a very useful result used in a lots of places that cos of minus theta is cos theta and sine of minus theta is minus sine theta.